Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try we will try to go little bit deeper into the selectors concept. Now, what we have seen is so the selectors. What we have seen is so if I try to refresh this page, so the concept what we have seen is so when we are trying to increment the counter, the post this one is not calling the post selector get active post is not calling. So this is a memoized selector. So fine, it's fine. Now, when we have a data that depends on the props for example when i click on this post i want to show this post details somewhere so when i click on this post one i want to show this post one details using the post id so for this type of selectors so how we can design so that means the selector which depends on the props which depends on the props so how we can do these things as a memoizer things so let's try to see so now for example here we are having the post list.js right so now what I will try to do is in this post list.js I will try to create something like so first of all what we will try to do is the post red user we will add id to the post so id is equal to 1 so in the same scenario what I will try to do so id is equal to 2 and we will be having id is equal to 3 and we will be having id is equal to 4 ok so these are the post data we are having with id now we have updated this post with the id now what i will try to do is here so we can change this key to the id right now when i click on this post id okay so i will call the method on post click so i will try to get the id i will try to send the id so this is the common scenario in the react case so now i am handling the post click let's create a function here what i will try to do function on post click you will be getting the id for this one so now i need to save it in the state so let's try to create a state variable constant post id comma set post id sorry set post id is equal to use state so use state of first time it will be empty now when when we click on this one what we'll try to do set post id so we will be setting the post id with the id what we have received as a parameter now completed so we have created a function whenever whenever we click on this post we will be getting a we will be getting the post id fine now what i will try to do is here i will try to create this one so let's try to create a single post component so single post dot js and in this single post dot js i am creating a component single post this is the component i am creating and here this one will be taking the props as the parameters and here what i will try to do here return do so let's design a sample html so template so single page single post page or something like this now let's export this component export default single post okay so i have exported this single post component now let's try to use this single post here what i will try to do is if post id is present okay if post id is present open this single post okay so use this single post that's it so what i have what i have did here whenever whenever somebody clicks on the post click so the post id variable will be set with the id what we have sent and immediately the post id is set right so now what it will try to do it will try to load the component single post now let's try to see the output the same output now first time when i try to refresh this page so nothing will happen so it's a debugger thing so in the post selector now i clicked on the post one immediately single post page came fine that's perfect so whatever we are expecting we are getting now we'll try to send this id whatever the clicked id as a props now what i will try to do i will send this one as a post id okay so now we are getting the single post component id as a props what i will try to do here i will create constant map state to props okay this is the thing right so i will be having the state and also the second parameter you will be getting is the props so whatever the props you are getting for this component will be receiving as a second argument for this map state to props so what i can do here i will return the object so i will be getting the single post so i will loop over the post component so dot find and what i can do and what i can do here i will be getting the each time single post and I can check something like post id id is equal is equal to props dot id. So we are passing that one as a props dot id, right? Now what I can do? This one. Let's use this one with the connect thing. Let's send this one and 
this one also the return value for this one okay done so now what i can do here i'll be getting the connect now we need to import this connect from the reactor x we have framed this one now what i can do here do id will be you will be getting that one using the props dot post dot id okay another one will be the title title props dot post dot title okay this is the thing now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output if i try to refresh this page okay first time i will refresh this page so okay I'm clicking on the post one. I'm able to get the post one details. I'm clicking on the post two. I'm able to get the post two details, right? So perfect. This one is fine. Now what I will try to do is here I will try to add a debugger. Okay, so this is the thing, right? Which is the main the main thing? Performance checking. Now what I will try to do if I try to refresh this page. See, let's let's just remove this one. So if I try to refresh this page, first time it will be using this debugger for for the get active post. Okay, fine. That is fine. Now what I can do, I am clicking on the post one, immediately the debugger hitted in the single post map state to props. That is also fine, fine, it's fine, not a problem. So in the post two also it is hitting, that is also fine, not a problem. Now what happened is, I am incrementing the counter. So that means, this single post is nowhere concerned with the state, that count variable. So if the count variable is updated means, there is no, nothing to reason to re-render this component again. Right, so re-render this component again. We, we don't want this re-rendering the component again. Let's try to see. If I click on the increment, see you observe again this debugger is firing. So it is sending the props, is the sending the props. So that means unnecessarily when the count is incrementing, also it is updating. So as we already know that so in the previous video we have discussed, instead of using this one, why can't you create a selector? So that it will be creating a memoized function. So okay, fine. Let's go to the post selector. What I will try to do here, I will use something like export constant get post by id. Okay, so get post by id, you will be getting the two props, state and the props. And here I will be using that same concept state dot post dot find. So you will be getting the single post, sorry, you will be getting single post, each post you will be looping over post dot id is equal, is equal to props dot id, that's it. So we got the one, one selector and here what I can do? export constant get post i can use get post so this is the create selector so this is the thing so here it will be taking the input selectors that is nothing but the get post by id okay so the second one is the function so which, ta which takes this for post thing and i will just return this post perfect okay so now what i will what i can do so here instead of returning so here i will do the debugger okay here i will be doing the debugger I will add the debugger whether this one is entering or not and I will return the post. Perfect. It's perfect. Now what I will try to I will remove this debugger for this uh, active post thing. And in the single post.js, instead of using this, instead of writing this logic, I will call this selector function. So there is nothing but the get post. Right? Get post. Yeah, this is the memoizer selector and you need to pass the state and the props to this one so that it is passed to the Get post by ID. So I am removing this one. So whether this get post is executed or not in the create selector, let's try to see. Now this one is completed. Now what I will try to do here? So remove this one. So now if I try to refresh, so first time it is not nothing is happening. So I click on the post one. It went to the create selector and I removed this one. So perfect. Only one time the create selector is executed. Perfect. Post two. Again it went it. Okay. The props has been changed. Okay. No problem. So post has been has went so fine now i am incrementing the counter so the single post is nowhere concerned with the counter thing so now the create selector should not execute so if i click on the counter see the create selector is not executing so the logic what we are doing is working so fine it is working now if we have two instances the single post thing so that means let's remove this one so post id is there means let's what i will try to do is i will try to add this div one div okay I am adding one div here. So let's try to refresh this one. What I can do is try to remove also. Sorry. So now I am having div. I am having two instances. That is nothing but what it. What I will try to do is I will try to remove this one. I will take one and I will take it as two. Okay. So we are having two things, right? So we will take it as two. Perfect. We are having these things. Now what I will try to do, so post id everything is there, post id id is equal to 1, id is equal to 2. 
the post selector I will remove this triple equal to so that it will not check the data type also. So now the props ID will be getting as a string right so that is the reason. So now what I can do I will try to refresh this page okay. So we got the we got this thing and I clicked on the post one it executed the debugger okay fine. The second time also it went why because we are having two single posts so two things has been displaced id1 and post1. Now see I am incrementing the counter so the two instance of the single post is nowhere concerned with the create selector thing. So what I will try to do here I am clicking the increment counter see what is happening here now it is going into the create selector get post ready previously if you are having one instance it didn't went but now we are having a two instance of the single post now it is going into the counter thing so but the counter thing is not over concerned with the single post so if i if i click if i click on this one again it is going second time why for the second instance so happening here so that means the single post if you are having multiple single posts multiple instance of the component and you are and you are depending on the props thing so this type of memoization will not be happened in the create selector then what i need to do so what you need to do is you need to create an anonymous function for this one okay you need to keep it in a function for this one okay get post and now what i need to do is so in the single post what you need to do is so you need to create a something like new variable make state to props normally you will be giving these type of names you will be able to see in the articles so for these are things so this one also is an anonymous function okay you need to create this one as an anonymous function and here what you will try to do is so here you can write get post details so whatever the name you want you can give it get post details so here what i can do here i will be calling this get post okay so the calling function i will be calling here get post right so i will be calling it here now what i need to do is so here you will be have you need to return the map state to props so state comma props you will be having this one so now you need to do so these things so now you can return object so this one will be a post so here you will be having get post so get post details this is the method you need to call get post details of you need to pass the state and the props okay so little bit confusing you are creating a function it is a function so now you need to use this make state to props like this so that now if you try to see here what will happen you try to see the code so if i am refreshing this one so let me try to refresh this page okay i have refreshed this page so nothing has happened now what I will try to do, I will try to click on this post one. Yeah, it went to the debugger, create selector, fine. So it went for the second time also, fine. We, we are having two instances. Okay, fine, not a problem. So we went it, not a problem. So now I am clicking on the increment counter. So now it should not call this create selector again. So I am clicking on this counter, see. Now it is call, not calling this create selector again. So now if you try to see here, what we can say, where is that post selector? Yeah. So here it is not going into this debugger again. So it is showing us the same data. So here the single post is not rendering, re-rendering it again. So this is how we will be using the selectors concept when we are trying to use the props. When these selectors, when this uh, map state to props is using the uh, props functionality along with the state data means. So you need to use this type of thing. So just what you need to do is you need to add it in a function and you need to return this create selector. You need to add it in a function. And here also map state to props also should be in a function so that it should return the map state to props functionality it should return okay. So this is how we will be writing the map selectors in for the props thing. So hope you understood about the selectors concept. This is the most probably we will be most commonly using the selectors concept in a react js. So we have seen how to create a selectors commonly we, we have seen and also using the props also we have seen how to create the selector. Hope you understood. If you have any doubts and any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.